Hey, hey, welcome back. This is Honor, Sister Honor with um, Songs of Zion. Just being obedient to the Most High God. So, uh, there's a promise out in the land for uh, the children of the Most High God who is following Him and trusting Him and waiting on his promise and so i um i'm just coming on here to say uh so many people say prepare 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 so how do you prepare you know how do you prepare for your inheritance for stepping into the promised land major thing is King David uh, in the book of first chronicles he was giving a prayer to the Lord of thanksgiving amongst the congregation of the people thanking the Lord for what he had done for building the temple and getting ready to um, announce and bring his son Solomon up as king of, of the throne. So, in First Chronicles, when he's saying thank you, and this is um, chapter 29, reading from the Holy Bible, which is the King James Version. He says, verse 12, Both riches and honor come of thee thou reignest over all and in thy hand is power and might and in thy hand it is to make great and give strength unto all that's verse 12 so both riches and honor come of thee and thou reignest overall and in thy hand david saying you know lord in thy hand is power and might it is to make great and give strength unto all so these promises that we are waiting is in the hand of the most high god is in the hand of our lord and savior and so jesus christ can bring it through however he also says in his prayer of thanksgiving and this is how we are to prepare for this and I want you to hear me clear verse 17 says I know all I know also my God that triest the heart and has pleasure in uprightness as for me in uprightness of my heart i have willingly offered all these things and now have i seen with joy thy people which are present here to offer willingly unto thee He's talking about the congregation of the people that were there joyfully um being thankful for what the lord had done my thing is that I'm saying to you is the Lord tries the heart. So just like David had prayed before saying, create in me a clean heart, O Lord, that I may follow thee. Every day, this should be preparation for us. Every day in our prayers, we should ask the Lord to create, to continually create in us a clean heart. And you may think like, why every day? Or why, why, um, why should we be looking at our heart posture daily? Because the Lord, it's also written by um, the prophet Jeremiah. Okay, prophet Jeremiah in the book of at the book of Jeremiah, which is chapter seventeen. Okay, chapter seventeen, and I'm gonna go right on over there. This is really important. 
This is really important. Verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Verse 10. I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Look, so that harvest that you're searching for, that um, bounty, that promise, the Lord is saying he tries the reins and he searches the heart and he gives every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. That's why back in first Chronicles 29, um, David speaks of, you know, he knows that God tries his heart. He knows that. This is why. Because the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Oh my gosh. Who can know it? Because we say in our mind, oh, today I'm not going to do this. Like I'm not going to eat this piece of cake. And uh, then uh, some minutes down the way, we're eating cake, right? This message is for me and for you. So I'm just letting you know that every day we have to ask the Lord. This is how we prepare. Every day we have to ask the Lord to create in me a clean heart so that we may follow him. We have to always ask the Lord. Oh, who can know it is only God. He tries it. He searches it. He knows it. So we have to ask the Lord continually, daily, creating me a clean heart. So uh, by doing this, that heart posture puts you in the right position to stay away from all those, um, what did it say? Desperately wicked, deceitful things that can come out of the heart when you do receive your blessing, you know, Folks, you know, get an increase of money, riches, um, may get that spouse, husband or wife. We don't want to make idols out of anything. We don't want to make idols out of anyone who can know it. God can. You say, oh, no, 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 not me, not me. I'm holy, saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. He created us. He knows us. So what I'm saying to you is we have to ask him daily. And this is how we prepare. Create in me a clean heart so that I may follow you. And um, and the blessings, the, the promise is here. He knows. He's giving it to you all. But also, even while we are waiting earnestly and trusting in him for that breakthrough, for that promise, for that harvest, let us not get caught up in it. Let us get caught up in being upright. Like First Chronicles 29 said, David said, the Lord loves uprightness. Let us be upright. Let us get caught up in being upright in trusting him, believing in him. Let him find us in those places. Let our harvest, our breakthrough, our promised land be found in those places so that we're already doing this. When the time comes, we're going to continue walking in this way. It won't be an idol because 
This is our lifestyle. This is what we're doing daily. So, I hope this touches your heart. And I hope it's a blessing to you as it is a blessing to me. Continue in the faith until we meet again. May the Lord bless you.